Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing maximum flow and how to find the maximum flow of networks. And this is just one way to find the maximum flow. In the next video, we'll talk about what another method is called minimum cut, but let's focus on this today. So as the name suggests, maximum flow is basically about finding what's the maximum amount of things that can be within a certain network at any one time. And here you can see I've got three edges that make up this network from S to T. Now, what we need to do is you basically need to look at all the ways you can go from S to T. Okay, so for example, I can go from S to T like this, 3630, or I can just go straight across like that. Okay, now the idea is you wanna choose a path that goes from S to T or source to sync, and you wanna choose the smallest number on that route. So in this case, it's 30. So I'm just gonna write that down over here, 30. Once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to subtract this number 30 from each of these edges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross out these ones and I'm going to subtract 30. So 36 minus 36 and 30 minus 30 is zero. Okay. And now I repeat this process. So as long as I can go from source to sink, what do I mean by that? So I can't go here again because this edge has turned to zero. So I can't use that anymore. So I have to go a different route. So I go down below here. Now that's pretty straightforward because it's only one edge, so it must be 58. So I cross out 58 and write zero, and now I'm done because I can't get any way from S to T. I add up these numbers, which is 88, and this is what we call my maximum flow. Pretty straightforward, right? Cool, let's look at a slightly harder example. Okay, so once again, we wanna start from S and we wanna get to T. And I want to go any route that gets me there and choose the smallest number to subtract. So for example, going up and down. So clearly here, the smallest number here is 18. Let me write that down here. And I've got to subtract 18 from both of these edges, which is zero and seven. So clearly I can't go up here anymore because that's zero. So I need to go down here. So what's the smallest out of these three numbers? Well, it's 35, right? So I write 35 there and I subtract from each of the edges. So two, 46 minus 35 is 11, 35 minus 35 is zero, and now I'm done. So add those two up, 53 is my max flow. Simple. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so if you wanna try this one yourself, pause the video and have a go. Okay, let's do this. So once again, S to T, let's just be systematic. So what do I mean? So either go all the way from top down or go from bottom up. Don't just randomly choose as you go. Otherwise you might lose track. So up like this, smallest number is five. So I'm gonna choose five and subtract five from all of these. Okay, so I'm done. Now you'll notice here, I've got a zero here. So I can't, maybe it's important to highlight, I can't go up this way anymore. So let's go straight through the middle. So smallest number between 11 and 14 is obviously 11. Subtract away 11, and now I'm done. So this edge here, I can't use. Okay, now down the bottom, 12, seven, and four, obviously is four, so I write four over here, and I subtract eight, three, and zero. So this one is done. So it looks like I'm all done, add up all my numbers. So five plus 11 is 16, 16 plus four is 20. So 20 is my max flow. All right, cool, let's do one more. Okay, cool. Now let's look at this example. So in this example, it looks like we're going from P to W because all these arrows or edges point away from P and all the ones actually going to W. So we need to start at P and get through to W. Okay, so let's look up here. So P, A, B, W. So what's the smallest one there? The smallest edge is 700. So I subtract away 700 on everything on that path. So 400, uh, 100, and zero. Highlight that one with zero. So I can't use that again. Okay, let's go P, A, C, W. So that's the one I can use. So what's the smallest one on that path? 
Now, because I've updated PA to 400, that becomes my new smallest one, okay? Or AC in this case. So subtract away 400 from them. Well, that's come turn to zero, zero and 100. So let me highlight the zeros. Can't use them anymore. So now it looks like the only way I'm going from P to W is like this and like this. Okay, so P to C to W, the smallest one there is 100 now. So write down 100, subtract away. 100 minus 100 is zero. Highlight the one that I can't use anymore. And then lastly, pretty obvious, P through to W is 300. So 300, that turns to zero. And highlight that last one. Just double check you can't get anywhere. Yeah, it looks like this is not gonna let me down. So let's add up all these. 700 plus 400 is 1100, plus 100, 1200, plus 300 is 1500. So 1500 is my max flow. Okay, cool. So that's how to find maximum flow of a network. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Give me a like, otherwise I'll see you in the next one. Peace.